Hello my dear chemists and welcome back to Akansarex channel. May you remember but in the video about tetrakis triphenylphosphine, I promised that some days I will make a guide about filtration of this catalyst under inert atmosphere. So here it is. Today I'm gonna talk about it in instruction manner and show you some useful tips there. First of all I have prepared a fresh portion of tetrakis in DMSO. I used a Schlenk flask as before. Next, we should prepare a T-shaped outlet by greasing its steps. I highly recommend our Corian vacuum grease. This loop isn't expensive and pretty robust as well. Steps are linked with the backbone via wire because pressure gap between vacuum and argon from balloon or inert gas line, whatever you want, could easily shoot them to the full winds. Outlet contains 14 mm joint equipped with porous glass filtering surface. All the joint must be covered by an empty, well dried round bottom flask. Further, Schlenk vessel with the reaction mixture is placed into clamp. Now watch carefully. Outlet taps are closed. And now you need to switch on an argon flow. In my case, by opening a plug connected to balloon. Next, remove the septum. Purge argon a little bit. Then seal the construction at all. Now please turn the stand like this. Schlenk flask should be easy to rotate by hand. Vacuum socket of outlet should be perpendicular to the argon entry. I'm gonna use a water circulate vacuum pump. Ok, let's go to start. Open the vacuum exit tab. Connect a pump hose. Then turn the whole construction upside down, shaking well the reaction mixture in the main flask. Now open the noggin flow and the middle tap. Nice. As you can see, DMSO with impurity starts to move out the Schlenk flask. When Tetrakis precipitate is filtered off, just disconnect the vacuum in reverse order to previous procedure. Receiver vessel should be removed and washed by acetone. I do it to ease purification stages check with UV light, because impurities have more yellowish color fluorescence than desired products. The next step is washing tetrakis with methanol, 3 times 15 ml portion each. For doing this, seal an argon tap, remove a balloon. Further, take a portion of methanol using syringe, but don't forget to let air bubbles go out. Now put the point of injector into hose like this and push liquid simultaneously opening the tap. Hey, and don't forget to get balloon back! Next step is just a reverse version of previous one. Now just let this pure methanol to come through. Repeat this procedure three times. Before doing the same with the ethyl ether, don't forget to use a clip, cause this solvent gives a huge pressure difference due to its extremely volatility under vacuum.
This tab is overlong because of frosting and crystallization in the middle tab. Of course, you should do it three times, 15 ml portion each. After all washing procedures, I just cover the workspace with paper sheets and put tetrakis into weighted bottles as quick as possible. Hehe, <laughs> very nice chunk there. We have got 2.75 grams of pure product, around 87% yield. Nice! Finally, just seal whilst into a bigger glass vessel flushing with dug on it. To sum up, today I have shown you a bomb option for filtration under inert atmosphere and told about some useful tips applicable to Tetrakis Trifine Phosphine Palladium Zero. If you enjoyed this video, please put likes, crack the bell and subscribe to Akansarak's channel. Bye bye!